So it started as really just this very simple idea of how do we take on this issue of labels and how do we creatively put that forward. So we put together just this incredible creative team and we took some of the greatest talents from Plain Joe Studios, we took an incredible photographer with Ed, we took you know, our own People of Second Chance team, and we landed on this idea of using provocative, honest photographs of real people and developed this campaign to take on this issue. So we found this incredible location in Baxter Miller's basement. So we gathered over 20 people, makeup artists, the creative director, gathered there and we spent about six hours capturing this campaign. It was a powerful time of just people coming together. You know, we had an amazing time shooting it and everybody got the point of why we were there. We were there to take on this issue of labels. Labels in my beginning walk and even throughout my life have always kind of been there. But God, you know, took me and restored me and, and gave me a new identity and you know I'm still growing in that and still finding my way in that identity. I think that one of the labels that gets thrown around a lot is calling somebody fake. Um, I think that it's important to remember that, you know, nobody's fake, everybody's real, and a lot of the times when, when somebody comes off as being fake or superficial, it's really because they're hiding something deep down that, um, that they don't want anybody to know. So I guess my hope for this campaign and everything that we're doing here today is for us to really reflect on our own label and reflect on the, the thing that has defined our life in a negative way and, and to be freed from that and to recognize that labels do lie and that we need to embrace the truth of who we truly are.